Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year to everyone, hopefully you had a great New Year's Eve and I hope this year goes great for you. And I also hope these pulls we are about to do go great for me. But we are going to of course pull in part 4 of the Super Sugo Fest for Zoro and Sanji. Fun fact, I actually miss every single Super Sugo Fest unit included in the pool of part 4, but let's begin. We get gold letters and a plethora of animations actually, so let's see, animations kind of tricked me last time. No. Wait, 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 does that mean what I think it means? Wait, 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 wait. Gear 5 is guaranteed new legend, right? The debut... Is that Zoro Sanji? Multi 1? We got one legend poster through the multi, so that has to be Zoro Sanji, I'm pretty sure. We get Niji, that is probably a sign. I mean, Gear 5 is enough of a sign. We get a secret red as well. And it is Zoro Sanji. I am in disbelief right now. We actually got them in the first multi. They were not even extended. Let's go. Zoro Sanji. Wow. Fair. This is the first time I think I pulled the debut legend and the legend I really, really want in the first multi. I was ready to do so many multis for this legend, I wanted them so much. I actually, fun fact, have a series in mind specifically centered around this unit, because one, I find them extremely interesting, and two, in case you didn't know, Zoro and Sanji are actually my two favorite One Piece characters, so this is like the best case scenario for me as we get another legend. Corazon for level limit break, okay, I will absolutely take that, it doesn't really matter what the rest of the multi has in store for us. I couldn't care less, we got Zoro and Sanji in the first multi. My favorite characters, the first day of the year, in the first multi. You can't make this up. And we get this low, perfect, for the rate boosted rare recruit in the end, because I can use copies of him for limit break. And now, easy decision, we can transition to part 3 to try and get gear 5 Luffy. Let's go, first multi here as well. In this part I actually miss 3 out of the 4. Super Sugar Fest characters, I only have Robin. We do get gold letters. Gear 5 again. Okay, no. But imagine. Legends. Legends, hello. Okay, no legends. So definitely a secret at some point. Because we did see gold letters. We get Nami here. Robin, I'm pretty sure I have her rainbow by now. Elisabello. Any poster can be red now. There we go. It is a secret red and it will be... Okay, it's actually Zoro Juro, another Zoro. Zoro loves me today. If we can get King of Hell, that would be insane. Okay, Kwondo Tama, definitely good for limit break. Franoske, a rare recruit I have pulled a million times. Jack, another rare recruit I have pulled a lot. Leo, can we get another secret perhaps? That would be awesome. Okiku, come on, no. Rebecca, this one is horrible. And the final poster is another gold poster okay i'll take it for limit break definitely a good unit with double special activation and hunger removal if you get copies of this iori and you don't already have her rainbow you are definitely pretty happy multi number two we see falling stars can we see something else gold letters again and if we don't get gear 5 here gear 4 we don't get gear 5 okay i think we are not going to see a new legend we do see a legend poster this time though so we don't have to hope for a secret. It is a guaranteed legend in the final poster too. Burgess is horrible. We get Zack again. I don't think he's rate boosted. And the legend is... Cat Viper. Okay, a speedrun legend, but a dupe for me. I already have him and Inuarashi actually. We get Usohachi. Killer. Can we also get the new rare recruits? I'll definitely take them for limit break. I do have them both though, like multiple times. Kobe. Yonji, that doesn't look so good. This multi is pretty horrible so far. Hawkins. And we do get a legend, of course, it is guaranteed. And it will be... Okay, Black Maria and Ulti. I'll take that. I pulled them for the first time in part 1. So this is my first dupe. It could be worse, but nothing new in this multi either. You're not gonna find me complaining, we got Zoro Sanji in multi-1. We started very strong. Okay, okay, never mind. We didn't just start strong, we continue strong. Lots of animations here, probably everything. Literally everything. Another G5, you have to be joking. 
This is Roger Roden. One poster. Another poster. Another poster. And I'm pretty sure it's guaranteed in the 11th poster as well. So let's see. Can we get Roger Roden, which I am pretty certain we are guaranteed at this point, and Gear 5 in the same multi? Let's see. We got Katakuri, the super class legend, at the start. A dupe for me. What else can we see here? Daifuku is not it. Get us to the legends. Sengoku, okay. Come on. V1 Sanks. Definitely all these animations for V1 Sanks, no doubt. Get Stampede Crocodile. Smoker. Okay. Black Maria, not with Ulti, alone this time. Another dupe. So the final poster has to be... Wait, it's gold? Psych! Okay, secret animation. Extended, we got Roger Roden. I actually have all of the New Year's Super Sugofest Legends. We pulled Yamato in part 1, Zoro Sanji in the first multi of part 4, and now Roger Oden. What multi even is this? 3 or something? 4? It's multi 3. What is going on today? My luck has never been this insane. In a Super Sugofest, no less. The perfect time to be lucky. I have to keep going for gear 5, right? Yeah, he's way too useful to just pass up because I got Roger Oden. Also, I have mentioned multiple times, this is essentially gear 5's part, not Roger Oden's. We get gold letters. Once again, I don't think we can see gear 5 anymore, but we can see multiple. There we go, yes, multiple legend posters. 3, keep them coming. 4, keep them coming. That's absolutely fine. 4 is enough. Absolutely great number. Let's see, can we also see something new? Yes, we can. Rayleigh and Gabban. I have been wanting this legend and I can never pull them whenever they are 8 boosted because they are one of the few legends that remove attack down with their captain ability. They also have good utility, so I'll take it. Next poster is... Oh! Gear 5 Luffy as well! The German soundtrack will never stop playing in this video. It will be on permanent loop. We can't stop winning. Just like Luffy here, we have ascended into GOAT status. This is crazy. I am not dreaming, you're not dreaming either. So this is actually happening. And we have two more legends to go in the multi. Another Gear 5 Luffy? Fight. Okay, yeah, let's not also be greedy, right? Usab Yasob is fine. I will absolutely take that. And Queen. She has super tandem. I will take that dupe as well. After the insane start of this multi. And I don't think we have more legends. But we got Roger Roden and Gear 5 Luffy in back-to-back -back multis. These are my best pulls ever. It's crazy. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. We are going to get our final poster here. Let's see what it is. It's not a secret. It's a Rockstar. I'll take that. And we are going to transition into part 2. I know this video was supposed to be for Zoro and Sanji. But we're going crazy. We're on a roll. Let's go for Nami, Sanji, or Low and Kid. I have Yamato, I don't care. Let's pull in part 2. First multi here, what animations can we see? Okay, we do get gold letters, we do get treasure. No hockey though. So I don't know if there's a possibility of us seeing a new legend or not. Are new legends only guaranteed on hockey? I think we got Gear 5, Luffy and Rayleigh Gaban with gold letters too, right? So maybe we can see a gold legend, even though no one appeared, we are definitely getting a legend and it will be a secret. Bonnie. Okay, there we go. The legend is a secret and it is... Okay, Sasaki, that is a dupe. Not an amazing start for part 2, but multi 3 seems to be my multi. So let's wait for multi 3. That's where big things will happen. I'm sure of it, let's see. Okay, bad rare recruits as well in this multi. Not all of them, but majority of them. As we get Ryuma. Point proven. Hey, and we get Toki. Hello, Toki. I will use that for limit break. And the final poster will be... Kinemon. Hey. If I didn't have both of them, that would be a very good multi. With both of the new rare recruits. Let's go to multi 2. Guaranteed legend here. We want to see the hockey animation at the start. To get a new legend. Let's see. Can we get it here? We can't see gear 5 because I have Yamato. Okay, no hockey. We do get treasure though. Can we see gear 4? 
We do see gear 4. I don't know if that matters. Where are the legends? We get one. Not another. We also have a guaranteed one in the final poster. Let's see. The more the legend posters, the higher the chances to get one new Super Sugofest unit from this part. As we get Okiku and Otoko, I will take that for limit break. A rate boosted legend. Don't want to see Koza right now. That's not really a good rare recruit either. It doesn't matter. We're waiting for the legends. We get Zimbe. We also get Wayno Carrot, came out with Soba and Lufitaro Zorojuro. We get Nami, that is definitely a great rare recruit. And the first legend is all in. Okay, I think this is... There are so many Big Mom legends. I have lost count. V4? Big Mom, perhaps. It's a dupe nonetheless. Final poster legend will be... Yes, thumbs up indeed. It has been a great Sugo Fest, but Vivi Rebecca is a dupe, but the thumbs up is very fitting. Maybe they're giving us a thumbs up to go for multi 3, which will have something hidden in it. Yes, it will. Let's go. Another one. Okay. This has to guarantee a new legend. I'm guessing based on your guys' comments. Haki at the start, as we get the legend, guarantees something new. Now, let's see. We get one legend poster, which means I think it was poster 2. Can we see another new Super Sugofest unit? Nope. No, we can't. It is Summer Boa Hancock, which is not new. Which I guess means we are going to see a secret legend at some point in this multi. Maybe now. Not now. It is coming. Maybe now. No, it is Hina. I obviously not only miss the Super Sugofest legends, so it is definitely not a guaranteed Super Sugofest legend. Another Kiku and Otama. There goes the secret legend, and it is Jack. Okay, super random Jack. I'll take it. It is new. It's not a super super fast legend, but it is something new in multi three once again. So we'll take that, and maybe we can see another secret. Who knows? Let's see. What is the final poster? It is a legend, and it will be New Gate. Okay, I do have him, so it's a dupe. Jack was the reason for the hacky at the start, and once again, multi three delivers. And now we have two multis until the limited pool step, which is multi-5. Let's see if we can get something here in multi-4. We can't, at least on the hockey side, but we do get animations. We are going to see a legend. And you know what? Because the next step is the limited pool. We haven't seen a new Super Sugofest yet. We do have good chances of getting one in the limited pool. Let's skip this multi. We are going to sacrifice this multi. Maybe with a new legend in it. Lucy! Not a new legend. So we are going to skip everything. And the legend said, skip? Okay, bet I will be Lucy. But it's absolutely fine. Pretty bad multi. I guess one of the worst multis we have seen today. But with the insane things that are happening, obviously this multi will not seem so good. We get Hiyori though to increase her limit break. I cannot complain. I am not going to complain. I am just going to immediately jump into multi 5. Can we get Haki? No, we can't. We do get gold letters. We do get treasure. Gear 4? No gear 4. Show me the legends though. Come on. We get one. Another? Another, yes. Posters 8 and 10 and also 11 for the limited pool 1. Hello, Toki. Kaku. Hazardin. Can I also get Low and Robin? I don't have that rare recruit. I think they are rate boosted. I'm not certain though. Maybe, maybe they're not. Okay, Sanji and Zoro, the summer version of the unit. They are not a dual unit, they're a single unit. We got the real Sanji Zoro before though, so we're fine. Poster 10 is... Ooh, Izo. Okay, that is a dupe. I don't really remember where I pulled the Izo from, but I do have the unit. As we get a secret legend for the limited pool legend, that's a surprise. Ah, V2 Warden, okay. Unfortunate, a dupe, not a new Super Sugofest unit from part 2, but it's fine. And actually, I think I stopped before multi 5 in part 3. Let me check. Okay, I have to do this multi. Maybe we get a gear 5 dupe, who knows? It was at this moment that he knew. Yes, exactly. We started strong, we are going to end with a bang as well. Can we get more legends during the multi? Yes, we can. My best pulls 
ever and the best pulls you have probably seen for this new year's super sugo fest if someone had more luck than this that's actually pretty crazy though what do i actually miss though from this part i know i miss king of hell zoro that would be insane if it was king of hell zoro i also miss Sanks and buggy i'm probably forgetting something i don't know i have swapped between parts so much i'm not sure but i definitely missed these two the first legend of the multi Cat Viper again, okay, so that is not what the Hagi was for at the start. Bonk and Monster, good rare recruit, That's a dupe for me, but a good rare recruit. The and goat. now, let's test the GOAT status. Can this be the man himself? Yes, it can! Super Sugofest and Mazoro to end off the best Sugofest video I have ever done. And it's not even close. Hopefully, it is the best Sugofest video you have ever seen as well. I know I had tons of fun in this video, if you enjoyed it definitely leave a like, I would really appreciate it and subscribe for more OPTC content, but do also not miss out on the Sanji Zoro series that will start soon. I will leave you with this amazing artwork, one of my favorites in the game, the one of King of Hell Zoro. Thank you so much for watching, happy new year to everyone, take care and I'll see you in the next one.